Okay, so I've just received my new uh, spin down filter screens in, uh, in the mail. And I'm just gonna show you what it takes to actually replace. Now these are, these are made by a company called Rusco. A oh, Russo, yeah, no Rusco, Art Rusco. Um, this is a thousand. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, so this is a thousand uh, mesh uh, screen here, and this is a stainless steel two hundred mesh screen. So I'm gonna just replace these real quick, and then put them back into action here. So first thing you do, you turn off the water from the pressure tanks, from your main pump, and anywhere else. And then you simply release the water out of these areas. So I have the very first filter right here. Um, I usually use a smaller uh, grain filter, so we're using a 200 mesh filter right here. And I'm gonna just simply just take this filter, push that into that hole and I'm going to screw this back on. Just hand tight a little bit and then tighten that back up. Um, over here, this one here, as you can see, this is what a, so this is 200 mesh. That's, we've cleaned this out I think a couple of times. This is 1000 mesh and as you can see, it has uh, collected a good amount of residue and stuff on it. So let's put that down there. And we, we've been noticing as the water flow has significantly decreased as you're uh, using various water sources, if you're using um, rainwater collection or things like that, then um, it will actually get clogged a little bit faster because there's more sediment in it. Right now we've had to switch from our developed spring to the actual open water area. So in addition to the 200 mesh, well, down below we've got a 50 mesh, um, or sorry, it's a 100 mesh down there for sediment, then a 200 mesh before it comes into the pressure tanks, then a 1,000 mesh before it goes out to our faucets, to the washing machine, and to the, to the uh, trailer. And then inside the trailer for drinking water, um, the 1,000 mesh takes you down to 15 microns. Then uh, for drinking, because uh, Giardia and some of those other things are between uh, 15 and, and you know, somewhere around 20 to 10 microns, 0 0.9 is, is, our, uh, uh, is a special filter that we have inside, and um, that's what we use for actually drinking on the cold water side. So I'm going to turn this back on and repressurize everything. That looks good to me. We're going to put the pressure back on from the pump and then this is going to go back out that direction and now I need to go <clears throat> turn my pumps back on at my breaker which is right here Okay. What is up with our guinea? Guinea, guinea, guinea! Come on over here, guinea! Okay. So we are now getting flow. Well, we are actually watering the garden right now. Um, and that's how simple it is to replace these spin down filters. Um, now these I got online, and I think these are about, um, at the lowest price you can get these for about $12. The uh, stainless steel one, which will last us a lot longer than these now, that can be cleaned a little bit better and the screens don't wear down while you're cleaning them, um, those are about $18. So you can go to like a 2000 and so on, but the w when you're pulling something that has that much sediment, they'll get clogged up in about um, a week. So. Uh, you can, you can bathe in the filter water down to 15 microns, brush your teeth with it, you know, so you don't want to cook with it or drink with it. Um, and that, that's why we have a different filter for that. So I'll show you that in a minute.